Hello! Right, today we're going to be taking a look at this Black & Decker electric screwdriver. Now I bought this many many years ago and it hasn't, it hasn't worked for a long long time. Um, I'm assuming the batteries have uh, died in it. I mean I don't know how, how long ago it was. I bet it's 20 years ago I bought this. Maybe more. Um, but what we're going to do today, we're going to remove the old batteries and replace them with a 18650 battery. Hopefully it'll uh, come back to life. So uh, I'll get on with dismantling it and uh, we'll see how things go from there. Okay. So I've got it split down into these uh, various parts, laid them out so I know how they go back together again and come to take the batteries out and yeah, they're in a bit of a mess. <laughs> it is quite old so yeah, so couldn't expect much else really. Anyway, my plan is to an 18650 battery in. I have just connected it up loosely like that and the light if you can see there does come on so it is getting power and if I can hold it all together it does spin up so theory is I'll solder them, them two wires onto the end of this battery. It's obviously not going to fit in here. So uh, what I'll do, I'll get the Dremel and just cut this lug out. Hot glue it in and hopefully it should be okay. Okay, so that's that uh, lug dremeled out. <clears throat> and uh, what I'll do... I'll hot glue that into there so it doesn't rattle around after I've uh, soldered these two wires onto it. It should work fine because, uh, is it on this one? The voltage is 3.6 volt DC. I don't think you can see it on there, but it is. And these are what? 3.7 to 4 volt on the so I can't see there being a problem so let me get these wires soldered on and uh, get this hot glued into here I think they'll be long enough I may have to extend them if they don't might just be able to reach we'll see okay looking at it again I'm going to have to extend these wires so I've cut this, the uh, spade connector off. What I'll do, I'll solder these together. Then I'll add a short length of wire from that, which will reach to the bottom of the battery there. Same with that one, although they don't really need extending. So uh, yeah, let's get them soldered up and move on from there. Okay, so uh, there we are, all glued into place, wired up. Let's just put it loosely back together and make sure it still works. Oh. And if we move the switch, yep. it going the other way yep everything seems to be working there okay let me just try it in the charger make sure it's charging so before we start to try and charge that screwdriver we're gonna to have to do some alterations with this charger this is the uh, original one and it's obviously for charging the NICAD batteries that were in it uh, but now we've got an 18650, we're going to have to uh, do something about that. And I have this small charger, which 
what I'll probably do yeah is cut this uh, power supply off and wire this into here uh, which will give the right current and volts to charge the 18650 battery. Hopefully that will charge the 18650 battery. I don't see why not. Anyway, put that to one side and let's try and get all these bits back together and then uh, we'll see it actually working properly. Okay, let's see if we can reassemble this. I have sort of put them in uh, assembly order. So that goes on these planetary gears um, that way up. If I can get them on without it all falling apart. Um, yep, yeah, that went on next. Did it? Yes. looking good that was next that was the next one because it's got planetary gears inside there which uh, meet up with that so if I can no that's not going to work well that was a lot more difficult than expected to get these two parts together every time I uh, tried to do it on all the gears fell out so I didn't film that but now we'll get back to fitting the the clutch and the head back on um, yeah that one goes in there it's just a little clicker isn't it for the <laughs> these are like the uh, clutch plates go on there is there any particular way? Better just have a look. There is a slot there, isn't there? I think that's just a stop. I'm not sure which side of that it goes, so it's going to be a bit of a trial and error. That screws on. Still working. I'm just turning it. see what happens all I'm saying that what's that got inside there is that it doesn't feel like it's all the way on oh there we go so yeah just got to put this uh, clip back on can't screw the the handle together because I've made use of that post so I've just put some tape around it but if it still works that'll be fine by me let's just get this uh, clip on and we'll wrap it up okay so we've got a bit of scrap wood a screw and we've got the clutch set to its least least setting So it should slip actually. Yeah. If it through that far, if we turn it to about number four, we're going further and start slipping. But if we turn it up all the way, it should take the screw all the way. Up. Yeah, it's quite a powerful motor in it actually. Uh, let's draw it back out. Yeah, it seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. So that's that fixed. Glad about that. Didn't want to throw it away. Had it a long time. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, 
Thanks for watching.